Hi, it's Natasha. Welcome to my video and my channel. So right now I want to talk about the BioClean or all-purpose cleaner. And this is in the 65 ounces. I purchased this in, on Amazon. Let's see. Did I say the ounces right? 64 fluid ounces. Um, I ordered this back in March 9, 2017. And it was delivered by March 15th, 2017. This is sold by Amazon LLC. Um, just to let you know, this wasn't my first purchase ever. I mean, it was my first purchase through Amazon and um, through Amazon LLC. However, it's not my first purchase in this particular brand and this particular item. Now, the reason I want to talk about it is because not a lot of people know about this brand and this product and I don't I don't really understand why it's a it's a very safe vegan um like an like an all-around cleaner I clean this with everything and initially when when um I was I switched from Mr. Clean and ammonia and bleach and I think Lysol I was really worried, but I also have sensitive skin and um, I was also kind of hesitant because I've, I think I've tried other like all natural vegan kind of things for cleaner and um, it doesn't really work out very well. It doesn't clean very well, but I was getting really frustrated in the fact that I was like my, my hands were, would, would have like a bad reaction to, to the, the stuff that I was using, it was either burning or itching or would have a rash. And um, also the smell was so intoxicating and would always make me feel a little bit woozy every time I used it. And if I did use it on a countertop, I would always have to get like a, like a soapy water rag, you know, like a soapy rag and then just have to clean that again because I was just so worried that if we put anything on the counter and it would put in, it would go into contact with the cleaner like the bleach and the ammonia and the Mr. Clean and the Lysol that it would still be ingested and you know I was just always very careful my my husband boyfriend at the time has been now I would always tell him you know just be extra careful because you know, I'm using heavy duty cleaner to clean everything up. And I, what I remember was, um, I would mix either Mr. Clean with ammonia and bleach. And then before that, I used to mix Lysol with ammonia and bleach. And both of them I got in the yellow, which had supposedly the, the lemon scent, but that, that didn't really work out. Um, I didn't really smell the lemon very much, especially when you mix the ammonia in. And then I also mix the bleach in, um, and I would get the, I would get it in the lemon scent, which, ugh, it's it's so disgusting. And then it would always have this weird texture on like a film on your hand. It was disgusting. But anyway, so I discovered this, and it was back when I used to shop at Drugstore.com. Now they've been absorbed by Walgreens.com or Walgreens, the company. So. Uh, um, when we moved and I was running low on this because this is what I've been using for I don't know how many years probably five years four or five years probably I'm not sure so I've always bought this and I always have some um, and then I discovered it was on Amazon and it was um, the cheapest price including shipping so I took advantage of that and I bought that. And if you can see, I still have a lot of it because it's very concentrated. I actually put a lot more in my spray because I also bought the all-purpose spray. And um, when you get the all-purpose spray, it's not in a concentrated form like this one. It will be the diluted form. Um, I used to have like a lot of bottles of the spray, probably five or six. And then we moved and then... Um, I'm not going to play the blame game, but someone broke like three or four of them. So now I'm down to like two or three. But anyway, what I would do, it, it does have instructions on how to dilute them, but um, I would always add a little bit more 
and that's just my personal preference. Um, when I do add like a, a little bit more or maybe clo clo probably it's probably like one and a half percent to 200 percent instead of a hundred percent of what what it says you know like um, the ratio of the water to um, the cleaner. And I also add lemon juice to it. That's my personal preference. So when I do that, um, I just spray it wherever I want to. Um, I've done it on carpet. I've done it on a hardwood. I've done it on tile. I've done it in the bathroom. I've done it in the toilet, the mirror, the countertops. Um, uh, wood and laminate and uh, stone um, I wouldn't advise putting the lemon though if you're if you have granite that needs to be sealed over and over again and marble as well because that will slowly um, deteriorate the sealant as well as it will um, it will cause tiny holes on the granite and the marble and it will slowly break it down because those two are still porous and um, it will also retain a lot of food and you can never clean that out because it's stone. Um, just those two stones though. If you get the, uh, the quartz, um, most if not all the quartz um, do not require sealant. So you could always use something like this. Um, I'm, I'm not sure at the time if I, you know, if I will add, um, I have a different kind of countertop that came with my house right now, so I don't have a quartz yet, but I do want to get a quartz one day. But anyway, so if you have um, a stone countertop, I would suggest don't put any of the lemon juice. Um, maybe get a different bottle to use for the lemon juice. Um, and that would be, you would use for everything else. It just, it adds a little bit. If you do want to add the lemon juice in there, and the lemon juice, I don't measure it, and I do put a lot in there. I think it just adds a little bit of something in there, maybe a little bit of smell. Um, this has a very citrusy smell, but when you um, dilute it with the water, it's very faint. You don't really smell a lot of it. It's not overpowering. And even in the concentrated form, it smells like faint, like not very strong grapefruit peel, like grind or zest um, so I do like this a lot and I do like this brand a lot I actually have um, I think their carpet cleaner the rug cleaner as well and their back out um, stain and odor remover but um, I wish that every single item that they have that I would actually use I don't use some of them but I do use a lot of them in this brand and I really really love it um, do I like it? Love it. Dislike it? Hate it? I love this. This is my, um, I, I have this in every single, underneath the sink, I have three bathrooms and I have this in every single sink. I mean underneath the sink. I also have this underneath my kitchen, um, sink. Um, anything that has to do that, um, that has to do with any kind of cleaning, this is what we use in our home. And um, initially when when I changed to this one and um, my husband was, you know, using this, at first he was kind of like, because everybody, you know, when people think about cleaners and heavy duty cleaners, you're kind of grossed out about it and you kind of you kind of associate it with something really heavy duty like bleach and ammonia. But through the years, the, the more he used it, you know, the more he got educated on it and he noticed that it doesn't hurt his hands. It doesn't, because he, he's also allergic in certain things and he also reacts. I mean, I think any kind of cleaner really is harsh and it's not really for your skin anyway. But um, he would, he, I remember him telling me that he really liked this cleaner and I was just like, t uh, you know, I was a little shocked because it's not like every day we talk about cleaners. And he brought it up to me and said, I really like that cleaner. It does a really great job. I don't have to do, do a lot of um, scrubbing and a lot of um, elbow grease. I just spray it like you taught me and leave it there five, 
10 minutes maybe and I come back and all I do is, is rub it with a, with a rag, with a clean rag. And I told them, I'm like, I know, this is the best cleaner I've ever come across and that's why we always have it every sink. And if you need to, <laughs> if you spilled something, if there's something you need to clean, go to the nearest sink, there should be one underneath it. So, um, I really love this, you guys, and I would give this five out of five stars if it was an Amazon rating, which I'm going to be doing later on today. So I do recommend this a lot. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it, and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Any kind of comments are always welcome, so feel free to leave some down below. Um, there's also going to be other information down there, which is my Instagram, my Twitter, my email, and any other good stuff that will be related to this video. Thank you again, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.